And let's get into just what the Vuelta a España is, because there is this question. A lot of people say it is the hardest Grand Tour of them all. But uh, the rosters are always a little bit shaky at the Vuelta. This is where a lot of Neo pros uh, are sent uh, by their teams for their first Grand Tour, so it isn't the most experienced uh, peloton always. But the courses, the courses are really, really challenging at the Vuelta, and there's no way around that. Yeah, I mean, the Vuelta does have shorter courses. It's two, This year's race is 200 kilometers shorter than the Tour de France. But when you're talking about nine mountain stages, when stage five of this race finishes on a category one climb and it's not even categorized as a mountain day, you're talking about an incredibly hard race. And I think it's not so much you know, the parkours that make a race, as we well know, it's the racers and the Vuelta is certainly a race of desperation. This is a time of year when a lot of riders need contracts. They haven't gotten a result all year. They are going to be very, very, very hungry to uh, show up, roll a breakaway, take some chances that they may not take earlier in the year. There are also just a lot of tired legs out there. There are racers who've been at this. This is going on over uh, 60, 70 race days for them. Some of these guys are cooked. Yeah, I mean, if you look at the mental fortitude it takes to win a stage, much less than overall at the Vuelta a España, it is incredible. Let's take Ben King as an example from last year. This is a racer who raced the spring classics um, at the very start of the season, and then came back and won two stages at the Vuelta a España on summit finishes, no less. He is not necessarily a climber, but it just shows that like grit, determination can get you a result, can get you a victory at the Vuelta a España. And I think the same thing goes for the overall. You know, you're racing against mental fatigue as well as physical fatigue. If you look at Chris Froome's back-to-back -back wins at the Tour de France and the Vuelta a España in 2017, he called the Vuelta a España the hardest grand tour he's ever raced. And I think that just goes to show how incredibly hard it is to win a grand tour this late into the season. It's going to be a doozy. We are really, really looking forward to seeing it. We're looking forward to seeing the rosters emerge over the coming week. Remember, you can watch the Volta Espana on Flow Bikes if you are in Canada. Tune in. We will be back with updates from the Volta.